Hi guys, my name's Vex and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be bringing to you my February wrap up. Oh my goodness guys, February's already been and gone and I'm here to talk about the books that I read in the month of February. I had a pretty good reading month this month even though it can't top January of course. But I'm excited to talk about the books that I read in the month of February and bring you my little spoiler free thoughts on them. As usual, I'm going to start with the stats. Now during the month of February, I ended up reading five books and a total of 1,567 pages. Amongst these books, they were all from the fantasy genre and what can you really expect from me? I love my fantasy. And amongst these, four of them were physical books. One was a graphic novel. There were also three four star books, one 4.5 star book and one five star book. So let's get into the books I read. And first off we are starting with Beneath the Sugar Sky by Shauna Maguire which is the third book in the Wayward's Children series which are like a group of companion novels that follow Every Heart a Doorway and I can't really go into too much about this one but Every Heart a Doorway follows kids that have come out of portal worlds like Narnia and back into the real world in which they have to join society again so they go to Eleanor West House for wayward children and they meet other kids that have come out of portal worlds and it's really really interesting so this book follows some of the characters from Every Heart a Doorway and at this point I can't really tell you much other than it follows the nonsense world which is really really cool and we get to dive into some old characters and some old worlds and I really enjoyed this one. I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars. It didn't hit the mark like Down Among the Sticks and Bones did for me but it was still a really really good read and I really really enjoyed the characters. Jordan's writing is absolutely beautiful and I really enjoy the way she tells stories. These books are magical and atmospheric. We were too all over the place going to the different portal worlds and they, it just it started to lag a little bit in the adventure where the other ones were really really good um, but yeah I enjoyed it, still gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars, but it just didn't hit the mark that Down Among the Six and Bones did for me. The next three books that I read in the month of February were part of a trilogy, and that is the Shadow and Bone trilogy by Lee Bardugo. So I read Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, and Ruin and Rising. Oh my goodness, guys. I don't know why I didn't pick this trilogy up earlier. I really, really enjoyed it. I gave Shadow and Bone a 4 out of 5 stars. Siege and Storm a 4.5 out of 5 stars and Ruin and Rising a 5 out of 5 stars because it was an amazing finale that I just, I couldn't put down and I couldn't put down the whole trilogy to be honest. I read Shadow and Bone with Jess from A Tale of Tomes and I really really enjoyed buddy reading with her. I, once I finished the buddy read I of course went on to the other two books because I could not help myself but Basically, Shadow and Bone follows a girl named Alina. She is a soldier, an orphan, and expendable, I guess. She lives in a world full of Grisha, which are like magical beings, I guess, magical people who can heal and stuff until she tries to cross the Shadow Fold, which is like this dark place with no light that's full of like monsters, I guess. As her friend is attacked, she tries to protect him and unleashes some dormant magic inside her, and it just gets hectic from here. This whole trilogy is absolutely amazing. Lee Bardugo writes so, so beautifully. I really enjoyed the characters. I didn't care much for the main character. Sometimes Alina was really, really selfish and at times she didn't think of anybody else but herself. But she grew on me through the trilogy and there are some amazing characters throughout. So I really, really enjoyed this trilogy and I absolutely loved the way it ended. It was just, I feel like it was perfect for me. There is a little bit of like love going on through these, sort of, um, but it didn't, it didn't take away from the story. I feel like every one of these stories were really plot driven and not romance driven and were about Alina finding herself and oh it's just good. It's really really good. I really really enjoyed it. Yes, I would definitely recommend Shadow and Bone Trilogy to everybody. I think it was really really good. I love a good fantasy and it was magical and it was just everything I could want really. And last but not least, the graphic novel I read this month was I Hate Fairyland Volume 3 by Scotty Young and I freaking love 
this graphic novel series. Chelsea from Chelsea Dolling Reads recommended this one on her channel and I cannot get enough of it. It follows Gertrude. When she was six years old she always dreamed to go to a magical land and she was sucked into fairyland. Only you just go, you get your key and you go out and you've had an adventure as a child and it's amazing but Gertrude can't find her key and she's been there for 30 years and she's fucking angry about it. And this is the third volume. This is titled Good Girl and I really, really enjoyed it. But like Gertrude's character, I think she's so snarky and aggressive, murderous, things like that. Uh, but I really, really enjoyed this installment. And the artwork is so fantastic. It's so bright and colorful and it just lights up my life. That's it for me today, guys. Those are the books that I read in the month of February and I really, really enjoyed them. I didn't read the quantity that I did last month, but there were really good quality books this month and I really enjoyed it. And to wrap up this wrap up, I'd like to say hello to all my new followers. Thank you very much for joining me here in my little part of YouTube. There is 800 of you at the moment. I've had some amazing people shouting me out lately and I just, I think it's so lovely the community is supporting each other. So thank you very, very much to everyone who shouted me out recently and also to all my new subscribers. Definitely, definitely can't wait to talk to every single one of you. That's it for me today, guys. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more and have not already. And chat to me down in the comments. Let me know the books that you read in the month of February and let me know if you've read any of the books that I have read this month. And we can chat about them down in the comments. That's it for me today, guys. I make videos every Monday and Thursday and I'll see you in a new one. Bye.